You have asked, and now you will receive. Today, I am ranking Marvel Men. <laughs> Marvel Men. Cue the intro. I am not a long-time Marvel fan. I watched the entire Marvel, well, mostly the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe, the summer of 2019. I heard all the hullabaloo about it, talking about, oh, did you hear about Endgame? Did you hear the Endgame spoilers? All throughout my sophomore year, and I was like, let me see what this is all about. And I became a fan, you know. Now, as I give my opinion, I don't want no super fans, no people who have like been with this since they were a child trying to like poke holes in my opinions because I'm not gonna change my opinion. How do, how do you even describe Marvel? From an outsider standpoint, Marvel is if you took the American flag mixed with some steel and a little bit of capitalism. But I guess that's just the Gilded Age, not the history. Okay, before we start this ranking, I gotta give my disclaimer. We're going by the Triple B method, biased but believable, made up by me. That means my opinions are biased, but you can kind of agree with them. You can find some truth in them. Spoiler warning. I'm not gonna be trying to creep my way around spoilers in this one. Factors of ranking. We're going by the same factors of ranking we did as we did with the Disney Prince one. We're doing charm. How much do you make me feel like oh my god I like you loyalty are you gonna stay loyal to me to the ends of the earth even if a purple dinosaur comes and tries to vanish us from existence and that's my man's energy that's my man's energy is how much it would make the significant other yell to this man that's my man's like it would be like that so we're raking on a scale from one to ten and then at the end we'll add it up and then we'll rank them. Y'all ready? Let's do it. First off, we're starting off with Thor, God of Lightning, I guess, or Static Electricity or something like that. And we're starting off with Charm. I give him a three out of 10 because this man has no manners. He's like royalty and how do you not have home training? I feel like this is the same dilemma we entered with Prince Adam from Beauty and the Beast. What is it with this, all this royalty and no house training? Also, I feel like he thinks of like women as only like one type of like species. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like he would call ladies females. Loyalty, I give him a five out of 10. He didn't come back for Jane. Y'all remember Jane? That's why you don't. That's why we know he didn't come back for her because in the first movie he was like, I'll come back for you. I'll show you the rainbow bridge and we gonna have a lot of fun. But no, he ain't come back. Y'all know that one tweet where it goes, he only falls off and embarrasses you. You dating a wig. That's what Thor is. But that's my man's energy. I give him a little seven out of 10. You know, he, I'm not gonna lie. Every fight scene that Thor is in, you know, he kind of went off. Plus who wouldn't scream, that's my man's. If you saw your man wielding like Lightning. Like, that's my man. Like, now we're moving on to homeboy's brother, Loki. I'm giving them 8 out of 10 for the charm. Let's be real. Get these pillars off this couch. I need to get real with y'all. Y'all a lion. If you think that if Loki came up to you and he was like, oh, I'm hitting on you right now. I don't feel like giving an impression of Loki right now. You would sit down and listen. Charm, I give him an 8 out of 10. However, I take a little bit of the charm away. You know, he's not like a full 10 out of 10 because first of all, he's like charming like a snake two he can't be vulnerable three he's such a baby i just know that you'd be the parent in the relationship what did doja cat say i ain't your mommy brother loki's ain't shit loyalty one out of ten he's literally the god of mischief i know there are a lot of loki stands in the building but i'm sorry i gotta be real one out of ten plus he kills people so he will lie on your ass he will betray you he will cheat he some of y'all dating loki's but that's my man's energy i give him a two, i give him a two out of ten i know i know i give him a two out of ten because i would not be claiming him he does so much killing like no next we're going up to t'challa and that is black panther from the movie black panther black community don't get mad at me these are my opinions all right so settle down let me keep my black card for charm i give him a six out of ten yeah i know it's kind of like a so-so score but that's because t'challa is like serious you know what i'm saying like he's he's like kingdom first and i feel like if he walked up to you no i feel like he wouldn't walk up to you he'd just be like serious and like get straight to the point right it would take like a while for him to like warm up to you and i feel like that's not like 
charm like right off the bat so i give him like a you know a little six out of ten but that's not his fault he's a king or whatever he got a lot of stress loyalty baby 10 out of 10 and it's not even for like relationship stuff he will do anything for his kingdom and that's a great amount of loyalty somebody in the last video commented because like i said there was a lot of sacrifice <laughs> in these disney films and they made the argument that a lot of the disney princes made those decisions to sacrifice themselves as like split decisions and so they didn't really recognize the consequences of their actions and so it was kind of like on a whim if we go to t'challa he laid down his life for his kingdom multiple times to defend his kingdom knowing full well days in advance what the consequences would hold and he was ready to fight and y'all he even died knowing what he was doing um that's my man's energy 10 out of 10 do i even need to explain this it's black panther first of all the suit high-tech vibranium yes yes fashion high runway plus y'all he's royalty the difference between royalty with thor and royalty with t'challa is man's actually acts like royalty next up we have the man of the hour well kind of the man of the reality we have iron man from the movies almost all of them for time i'm gonna give him a five out of ten he's charming i'll give him that but for me when you're charming and you know it and you like want me to know it it comes off no it's a turn off because if you were like getting hit on and somebody's like yeah i'm awesome i know like no I'm going the other direction. For loyalty, I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. Now don't take this too seriously, y'all. I know he like, you know, died for the existence of, existence of the world or whatever, but here's my reasoning. I'm basing this off of his actions in Civil War. Man's dropped his team and put them in jail like that with a snap of the finger. Also, he's getting a 6 out of 10 because literally the way he proposed to his girlfriend was flicking a ring at her after his backup plan didn't go well. Like do y'all remember? I think it was at the end of, which one was it? At the end of Spider-Man Homecoming, they had like the press release, they had like the press ready to go to like introduce Spider-Man as the new Avenger, right? Instead when Spider-Man was like, nah, I don't want that gig anymore, I want to be a teenager. Um, Iron Man was like, okay that's cool, oh my gosh that's not cool at all. And Pepper came out and he was like, I'm marrying you now because I don't want to, I want to save face. Why would you marry somebody to save face? Loyalty 6 out of 10. For that's my man's energy, 8 out of 10, you know. He's a bajillionaire. He always got that fresh cut. If I was in the 2000s, I'd probably rock with the L jawline weird little perpendicular geometry algebra looking beards that they used to have captain america aka steve rogers with captain america for charm i'm gonna give him a nine out of ten because he has you know that old-fashioned charm he'll like open the door for you nine out of ten for the charm loyalty eight out of ten i feel like y'all are expecting me to like automatically give captain america a 10 out of 10 because it's like oh captain america you know patriotism or whatever yes he will literally time travel and leave his other reality just to be with you forever however he will leave you forever just to go like serve his country to save the world and i'm not saying that's like a like a horrible thing but it's like you know i wish i wish he would have stayed with me you know it'd be like that so loyalty 8 out of 10 calm down is still a solid number and this is my opinion i know y'all are gonna come for me because y'all are gonna defend Captain America and I have nothing against him but I do have my opinions I give that small man's energy 7 out of 10 I've just never liked this suit it reads clunky to me next up we have Sam Wilson and he is Falcon charm I give him a 7 out of 10 you know I feel like it's a solid number for me like his charm comes off as like like a uncle you know the cool uncle he's like the cool uncle I guess maybe if I was like 40 and looking for love I'd, I'd give him a higher number, but I'm not. So, loyalty, 8 out of 10, bro. Same as Captain America. He helped his friend even if it meant betraying his whole country just to do the right thing. So, I stand for that. Also, he protected somebody for the sake of his best friend that he hated. He protected Bucky, even though at the time they were like, mm, I hate you because you like my best friend. And the other one was like, mm, I hate you because I was here first. And the other one was like, well, you aren't here now. And then for that's my man's energy, I give him a 7 out of 10. Once again, pretty solid number. It's giving, you know, I got a 401k type of vibe. You know, it's that mature kind of that's my man's. Like, that is my man's energy. Next up, we have Bucky Barnes, and he is the Winter Soldier. For charm, 
one out of ten i'm not gonna give a high number of charm to somebody who is glaring at everything who doesn't agree with anything some of y'all like that some of y'all like those boys that just don't care about anything including you loyalty six out of ten you know i know this is hitting below the belt but he be rocking with you like hardcore unless you know somebody says a few russian words i'm sorry okay for so that's my man's energy i give him a five out of ten like yeah i don't know he didn't really leave an impression on me some of y'all are bucky stands and i i'm happy for you but not for me spider man peter parker and i know there are like seventeen thousand different versions of peter parker but i'm just gonna go with the marvel one uh what's his name tom holland <laughs> I don't know why I forgot his name. Congrats, Zendaya. I'ma be real. For charm, I'ma give him a six out of 10. When I watched Spider-Man Homecoming, I was like, okay, like I get the appeal for Tom Holland and how he played this character. But at the same time, I got the appeal when I was 16. Now that I'm like 18, even though it's like two year difference, now that I'm 18, I'm just looking back on it like, oh, that's just like an awkward, Team boy charm is like a six out of ten i feel like i'd just be awkward in the silence loyalty six out of ten he stood home girl up that lady's a model how you gonna stand a model up to go save the world or whatever another thing with loyalty whenever he went on his trip in the next movie he left his spider-man suit at home even when fury was calling him like hey we've got an opportunity for you to actually do the work that you have literally been begging and asking us to do all year round we're giving you this opportunity for free and he's like nah i want to go on vacation i'm giving him that high score despite him not being loyal like that because he's still a kid you know he's like teenager he's allowed to like mess up and do all of that but like if he was a grown man that wouldn't cut it for that's my man's energy i'm gonna give him an eight out of ten you know if he walked into a room i'd be like yeah spider-man local superhero like that's my man's energy you know plus the suit looked good too. Yeah, and also he could like swing through the city. You know, we could swing through the city. I could snatch a hose wig and they won't even know it. The second to last one is fake ass cat, AKA John Walker. For Chum, I'm gonna give him a two out of 10. Why am I not giving him a lower score? Because he has a wife. So apparently he did something and it worked. I'm guessing it was by accident. For loyalty, zero out of 10 to whom? Loyal to whom? Loyal to who else but himself? For that's my man's energy, zero out of 10. Zero out of 10, I'm not claiming that. I'm not even gonna add you back on Snapchat. That's not my man, and that's not my cat. Fake ass cat. Last person we have, I just want y'all to guess who you think the last person is gonna be. Think of any Avenger. The last person we have is Nick Fury. For Nick Fury, I'm gonna give him for charm four out of 10. With the ladies, he don't have no charm. He's too hard, he's too serious, and he's too like, get straight to the point type of thing. And the only reason I'm giving him like a four is because I want him to be higher than fake ass cat. So for loyalty, I'm gonna give him a five out of 10 because I feel like he's too like cut and dry, like I just said. And if he had any like problems with you or if you brought up a problem like, hey, I don't like it that you do this to me or like you do this, that, and the third, he'd be like, oh, excuse me y'all. Man, this man giving me gas. He'd be like, oh, well, that's just the way I am. And then he just closed the conversation. But that's my man's energy. I'm gonna give him like a six out of 10. You know, he can keep calm in any situation, like anything. I don't think I have ever seen this man panic literally while the world was collapsing. We're done. Those were the Marvel rankings. And now we have the rankings. Are you ready? At number 10, with a hot score and record breaking low score of two fake ass cat john walker at number nine with the score of 11 we have loki number eight with a score of 12 one point above loki bucky barnes the winter soldier he lost an arm and he lost first place in this ranking number seven with the score of 15 we have fury nick fury number six exactly below average is Thor, God of Lightning or Sparks or Static Electricity or the fuzz you find after doing a laundry or something like that with a score of 15. Number five, middle, he's a good man but he's still got a lot of faults kind of thing. We have with a score of 19, Iron Man. For Das My Man's energy, if he didn't like have any of the faults, you could say that his score would be 3,000 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Number four, with a score of 21 point above Iron Man, 
is Spider-Man because he's still learning, I guess, and points for that Spider-Man suit. Number three, with a score of 22, we have Sam Wilson, aka Falcon. Now he gets number three because he could like, you know, he could hold down a good family. He could, you know, keep the money coming in. Number two, Ooh, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be, y'all? Who's it gonna be? With a hot score of 24 points, we have Captain America. <gasps> Like, wasn't he the man that was supposed to be, like, the best? No, because America can't always be number one, y'all. I feel like y'all need to get that through your heads. Number one, coming in at number one, we have the one and only... T'Challa! Everybody say it with me. Wakanda forever. Let's do it again. I feel like you didn't do it. Wakanda forever. T'Challa is number one. That's the number one Marvel man. According to like being your man. Superhero status. Maybe it's another, you know, conversation. Or maybe it's not. Maybe he is the number one superhero. Fight me. Don't fight me, please. Yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Make sure to please subscribe to this channel if you want more of this comment down below if you want me to rank like any other things like i think the other option i gave was like dreamworks men or something like that and as always give me your opinions if you feel like i'd had the wrong opinion which is impossible comment your essays your analysis your reasonings as to why another marvel man should be on top i'll see you guys next time and um stream loki bye turn this off